values and denounce terrorism, denounce Islamophobia and promote the, the tolerance and love that we all in need for to be able to live in this country. No one can deny that there is a double standard in media when it is an action of certain members who claim to be Muslims we see the media always associating Muslims with terrorism. But when the last act of terrorism was done by, super, by a white supremacist, we did not hear that this is an act of terrorism from Christians or Jews. We need to make sure that the media is playing a role, a constructive role of promoting peace and tolerance and love that's what we're hoping that the media is going to be doing. After all, you have a major role. It's not the time to talk about and criticize media, but we hope that they're able to do something and be more constructive from now on. And at the same time, at the same time we need as Muslims to understand though that many of us are traumatized, Though we have this fear in the back of our mind, as this is not the first incident of terrorism to places of worshipping, and merely speaking mosques, and we know that there are other actions of terrorism have taken place in Pittsburgh to a Jewish synagogue, and other places of worshipping, as we know that in the mountain, a, a, a Hindu temple was also burned down as a result of nothing but hatred and racism. We need also to be mindful and aware as Muslims. We're true believers that Allah Azza wa is the one who created us. And He's the one who controls our life. And Allah Azza said in the Quran clearly, وَمَا كَنَ لِنَفْسٍ أَن تَمُوتَ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ كِتَابًا مُؤَجَّلًا وَمَا يُرَثَّوَبَ الدُّنْيَا نُؤْتِهِ مِنْهَا وَمَا يُرَثَّوَبَ الْآخِرَةُ نُؤْتِهِ مِنْهَا وَسَنَجْزِ الشَّاكِرِينَ No one no one have a say at the end of their time. No one have a say when they will be leaving this life. Brother, it is distant. Brother, it is decided. Brothers, it's ordained for us. This is all ordained for us in advance. We pray to the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal that He have accepted those who were killed as being murderers as being shahada, because they were devout Muslims who have made their way in a blessed day, which is Friday, to a blessed place, which is the mosque. And they were in the state of purity. They were faith, they were, they were coming towards God the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. And they were afterwards murdered. We pray to the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal to accept them as shahada. But at the same time, we need to believe that, that we need not to allow the fear to creep to our hearts, to our minds, and to stay always positive and firm that the one who gave me life is only the one who can take and end my life. So we send a strong message to those who have ill agenda or hidden agenda. You're not going to intimidate us. Hear us clearly. You're not going to intimidate us. Our mosque is going to be always open. And we're all going to be coming to the mosque. And to worship God the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Along with our children as you can see right now. And our doors are going to always be open to all the guests and the friends from our neighborhood and from everywhere. As always has been the case and I have said it all the time. All the friends are welcome to attend our Friday ceremonies at any time without any prayer notice because we promote nothing but love and we promote the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal, the religion of, of God the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. But at the same time, we need to acknowledge that we are indeed going through a very difficult time. A very difficult time that requires from us to deal with those feelings, to be standing together to be providing the support and I'm quoting what the Prime Minister of New Zealand have said, quoting from the Prophet wasallam, that we are like the body when one part feels the pain, the rest of the body cooperate to ease the pain. It is the time 
that we get to know more of our children and family members. Talk to your children. Know what's in their minds. If needed, get an extended support. If needed, get professional counseling so that your children are able to keep going in their life. So they are able to go to school feeling safe as, as constructed members of this society and be able to contribute and, and, and be able to grow as a decent citizens. If you feel that your, your, your daughter, your wife, your sister is having a fear or, 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 or is not feeling comfortable to go outside wearing her hijab, then it is the time that we show them the support and solidarity. And I do, and I do command, and I do praise. The, the, again, the people from New Zealand who have put the hijab on Friday, uh, all to show support to Muslim women, and to those who have been following with the news. There are sisters who were living in New Zealand who did not feel comfortable putting the hijab, and they said for the first time, because of the act of our Prime Minister and the rest of the people in the country, we are now proud to put our hijab on. I send a message from this member to every sister who is putting her hijab outside in public and say to her, you deserve my respect. You deserve my support because I am very proud of you as a sister knowing with the climate we're living in that you could be potentially target for persistent and discrimination or even violence. I salute you and I, and I support you. And I will tell you, we are behind you to give you the support you need so you're able to continue to walk with your head up with your hijab on. May Allah bless you and give you the strength and support. Allahumma ameen. We need to go back to the Quran and find out how the mighty Allah Azza wa have advised us to deal with difficult situations like this. وَجَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ وَأَعْلَمُ مَنْ ضَلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ وَهُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِالْمُرْتَدِينَ And then Allah Azza wa Jal says وَإِنْ عَاقَبْتُمْ فَعَاقِبُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا عُقِبْتُمْ بِهِ وَلَئِنْ صَبَرْتُمْ لَهُوَ خَيْرُ الصَّابِرِينَ وَاصْبِرْ وَمَا صَبْرُكَ بِاللَّهِ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مُحْسِنُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal the mighty wants us to rise above the demons wants us to rise above all the all the all these hatred and and, and, and and revenge feelings and to communicate and deal with people with passion but in the position the position in the position and stand of strength when we forgive and when we say that we're not intimidated we're not doing this because of weakness we are doing this knowing that we are being supported by the mighty Allah Azzawajal, and we do have the ability to defend ourselves but we choose to be compassionate and we choose to be to be kind and merciful to others around us. And that's what the mighty is saying to us. You do have the ability to, to nail back those who have who have hurt you, but if you were to be compassionate and to forgive, this is better for you as Allah has done with those who are muhsin. Not kind, generous, but muhsin, above and beyond the level of kindness. And Allah Azza wa says in Surah Al-Baqarah. Be patient until Allah would ordain something. But what should we do with Minawali Rafi? How can we deal with this difficulty we're living in? It is extremely difficult. How should we deal with it? Brothers and sisters. Though we're living in a materialistic environment, though we always want to feel things in our hands, but the mighty Allah is just saying to us, there's a spiritual dimension in your life that you need to pay attention to. There's something you need to be mindful about. Challenges, difficulties, fear can be dealt with. With salah. Salah. Salah is our refuge. Our refuge from this dunya to the spaciousness of the act. Salah is what will bring comfort to our hearts and mind. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ الَّذِينَ يَظُرُونَ أَنَّهُمْ مُلَاقُوا رَبِّهِمْ وَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَى الْيَرَاجِعُونَ We need 
we need to rise and be from those who Allah said about وَاسْتَعِنُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاءِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِ May Allah Azza enable us to be able to engage in a, not any kind of salah. It has to be a salah of khushua. And that khushua is only obtained if you were to believe firmly. If you were to bring to your conscience as you stand between the hands of the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal, that one day you will be standing in between his hands for real in the akhirah, in the day of judgment. Once you feel that, once you are able to absorb, once you are able to feel every word you recite from the Quran, then you will be able to feel the legacy and the power and the empowerment of Salah and the comfort of the Salah in your life. And one important thing, which many of us might not feel the impact and might feel, might be wondering what's, how, how, what, how is that related to the difficult situation we're living in, وَآتُ الزَّكَاةِ Spend. Spending in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jalla the Mighty is what will bring ease and comfort to your heart. Is what will help to deal with difficult situation. And the Mighty is saying to you, وَمَا تُقَدِّمُ لَأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ Whatever you forward to your own selves from khayr, from money that God the Mighty Allah Azza wa have given to you, you forward it to yourself because what will be a benefit for you in the hereafter is what you have forwarded in this dunya. You're entrusted by Allah Azza wa Jalla in this wealth that you have in your hand. And the Mighty is asking you to use that wealth to, to forward it to your real life and to make this as a tool that will bring comfort to your heart, will bring protection to you, to your children. Powerful, the power of sadaqah is beyond and more than, than what we can say. Sadaqah looks to Allah, Allah. It extinguishes the anger of, of, of Allah. And, and it, it provides the protection. It provides the shield. It's the insurance that, that would help us to be able to, to maneuver and, 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 and move beyond, around with the difficulty and difficulties and challenges we're encountering in our life. Let us be from those who, who would go beyond only spending a few coins in the masjid. Though I encourage you, as we're speaking in this masjid, the roof is leaking. And, and it, we need not to wait for a bigger you know, problem to, to take place. We need to deal with this problem and spend uh, with the intention that you all be, I am giving to your house, you all be make it easy for me and for my children and my family. And we need to go beyond that to share what we have to everyone around us. To those who are less fortunate in our society in which we are living in. There are those who are less fortunate. There are those who are living in poverty. If Allah has not given to you, share what you have with those around you so that the mighty will make it easy for you. So that we could have this, this connection and the bond with everyone around us. And we can feel that we are truly one body. We are truly one nation. May Allah has done the mighty. Give us the ability and chance to be able to go through this very difficult time safely and help us to be able to 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 uh, to, to to raise our children and, and to bring ease into the life of Allah.